Okay, for those of you who haven't seen the first video, my friend Dan found an 87 Chevy R10 square body that had been abandoned in someone's warehouse where it had been sitting for years. Not knowing if it had a running drivetrain, we rescued it from the shadows and brought it home to take a closer look. This mystery truck hadn't been on the road since 2007 and it seemed to have a bit of a shady past. But despite a thick layer of Arkansas mud and some minor issues, it seemed to be in decent shape. And with the help of our friend Chris, we got the long dormant Chevy 350 to turn over, which was a massive win. Oh, oh my God. But no fuel was making it to the throttle bodies, preventing the truck from truly running on its own. And that brings us to now, troubleshooting the fueling system. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, all you people, what is going on? It is day two on the square body project. So right now, our biggest issue is the fueling system. It cranks over. Uh, we have spark, but we don't have any fuel. We were reading forums last night. Any ideas, Chris? Um, yeah, everybody was kind of leading towards checking the fuel pump relay, which is right over here on the firewall. So we're gonna test that out, see if there's any uh, power going to that. Listen for the fuel pumps. You can see little remnants of the uh, fire extinguisher here. We uh, oversprayed some ether. Think we uh, have a chance of it running? Oh, we definitely have a chance of it running. No question about that. Today? That's a tall order. All right, we're gonna go to the store. Let's go to the store. So, AutoZone or O'Reilly's or Advance? Which one is your favorite? Let's vote in the comments below. Got some fuel system cleaner here. Danny boy has got the oil. Looking for some oil filters. Chris is looking for node testers. Mm -hmm. While they're doing that, you know, I might as well look at some accessories here. This kind of speaks to me. All right, we were actually able to rent the node testing kit. AutoZone and O'Reilly's are my top two. I, I still like Advance. I really don't have a preference, man, until I get sponsored by one of them. Shoot, it just started raining. Back on for a sec. The relay is working. Is it? It's clicking. <laughs> uh, it. There's no fuel coming through. All right. Okay, so now we're going to use the node tester. Yes. This is the node tester, and what does this do, Chris? This is so for these old fuel systems, you hook it up onto the throttle body electrical leads, which is right here. Yeah. And you plug it in to see if it does any spark, and this is gonna this is gonna light up. Okay. If there's any spark going to that, then you know that you're getting power to at least a fuel injector. Okay. Okay. Come on, you naughty girl. Full crank. Yep. <laughs> yep. Okay, stop. Okay, so we're getting power then. I bet we have a dead fuel pump or two. All right. Let's try it again. We'll see if this other injector is working. <laughs> yeah, yep. alright, so it's getting spark. We're getting spark, but we're not getting gas to the injectors. So, either gunked up, uh, there's no wiring to the fuel pumps, or the fuel pumps are dead. We're gonna test the fuel uh, pump relay and see if we can get that working. See, if I'm doing this, who should hear a fuel pump? It's just a whole fuck ton of wiring under here. Fuel lines, found yeah. fuel lines right here. Nice. They're there. They're not that rusty, actually. You know what they say, right? Mo, mo wires, mo problems. The next thing we did was vacuum the floor of the truck and check the fuses under the dash. It may still smell like a coffin, but at least it looks a little less like a coffin inside here. It's actually cleaned up nice.
We replaced all the old fuses with new ones just to be safe. There's two, looks like lights on the hmm. thing here. So it should show which tank is selected. I think so. Then we replaced the fuel tank selector switch, but at this point in the night, we were soaked and going a little insane, especially with all signs pointing towards dropping the fuel tanks. Uh, part down. There's a lot of rat shit in your vacuum right now. <laughs> yeah. Like a lot. Like a lot. You know what we're gonna do with that? What? Mix it all together and you know you get the best of both worlds. <laughs> <laughs> that was my best Hannah Montana impression. Oh my God. A few days later, the boys came back with the new tanks and pumps that came in the mail. So Dan and Chris got to work. So I asked them, they said these are the exact ones for the Where'd truck. Where'd you get them from? LMC. What is LMC? LMC truck. They make truck parts for Chevys, Fords, Dodge, hippie vans. Oh, so they would know. Yeah. So we replaced the uh, the tank switch, the tank selector switch, uh, and also that tank selector unit that's underneath near tank number two. So a little bit of troubleshooting. Uh, that didn't work. That didn't do the trick. Didn't think it would. And I, I really think this is going to do the trick. If it doesn't, then we have a wiring issue. Stick along. We're going to install this new stuff and see if it actually starts and runs on its own. Right, Danny boy? Yep. Matt, when are we washing this? Good question. Somebody put the cremated relative you in there. Off the shield. <laughs> oh my lord, dude. <laughs> ah, it's in my junk. <laughs> Dusty junk. It's in my crack. All right. Oh, your phone is on underneath you too. Yeah, your phone's right there. Oh, fuck. We're thinking that the old tanks, uh, since they sat for so long and the gas got water in them, they probably rusted pretty bad in there. That may have clogged the lines, that may have damaged the pumps. But, you know, for 50 bucks each, the tanks, not a bad price, right, Dan? Thanks to LMC. 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 LMC, love my Chevy. Come on, that was good. That was a good All one. right, I'll give you that. Nice and slow. Yep, slow. Okay. Okay, we're free up top. Free up top. Stop, 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 stop. You? How tight are the lines? Can, Can I drop it anymore? Uh, I think so, yeah. <laughs> Dan, look through. I can't reach it dude, with this. Mm -hmm. I need to... Uh, I don't know, if I even look at anything, I can't see. Yeah, you're looking at my face. Go, go, go. Okay, it's out. It's right. out? It's, it's free. It's free. Oh, hell yeah. We're completely free. Oh, you got oh. it? Oh. Oh. Uh, old. New. No. Oh yeah. Put some sea foam in there. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh. Oh, oh, oh Jesus. Oh my God. What even? Oh. Oh, it, oh, it's like alien. It's popping out. I'd say that's a, just a little rusty in there. I think we know why Holy. your fuel pumps weren't priming. Yeah. Chris, you've got a little bit of Arkansas on your back. So Chris is under the truck now. He's gonna uh, try and hook up the pump, the pump to the wiring yeah. to actually see if the wiring is good. Cause right now you can't get a reading off of it. And the ignition is on. Cheers bitches. While I've been editing, uh, inside, the guys have been hard at work here. So, so far today, we have assembled this lovely sending unit and pump. We tested it and it all seems to be, in theory, working. The goal here is um, to get this thing up and running before I leave for Car Trek Season 6 next weekend. <laughs> I brought you guys some fizzy, some electrolyte water. Okay. You know okay. those tablets you drop in there? 
Oh, great. Because you both look dehydrated, so. Oh, thanks. Cool. Thanks. Oh, yeah. No, no problem. All right, so we can hook up gas lines. We can help the ground. We can hook up that. Okay. Dump some gas in it. Let's do it. See this bitch runs. All right. So while at the auto parts store, they also picked up some new gas lines because the other ones are pretty crusty, dusty, and busty. We gotta take that out and assemble. We gotta assemble everything again because Dan grabbed the wrong one. We didn't. We didn't I'm an idiot. It. Dan, you're not an idiot. I don't know about that. You're just slightly stupider well, than average. Well, wait a minute. <laughs> Why don't we just leave this the way it is? Because then we'll already have a tank that's. Set and ready to go. All right, then get the other tank out. All right, fucking right there. We gotta, we gotta do this all anyways again. So. Yep. Hey, you know what I was just thinking, Dan? Why? You grab six clamps. Mm -hmm. That's enough for one side. Yeah. Oh, mother. Oh. <laughs> 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 That's beautiful, so these will now be facing inward where it should inward, be. So for the side, yes. Got it. All right. This is what's mm. left of the original. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Wait, what? Yeah. Go ahead, man. Right now it is a bit precarious. We have the tank balancing on multiple layers of bricks. That is just so we don't have to re-hook up the tank and if something goes wrong, then have to unbolt it all and drop it. Yeah, right. right next to it, look at that. It's barely touching the bricks. We've got multiple fire extinguishers just in case. Put a couple gallons on the tank, hopefully it's enough, but Dan's gonna prime it by turning ignition into the accessory position. A couple seconds off, a couple seconds on. It's been nice knowing you, if this goes sideways. <laughs> Yes. We're getting fuel. We're getting fuel. All right, great. <laughs> yeah, I saw something spark in the engine bay. Really? Yeah. Like what? Yeah, the distributor. Really? Yes. <laughs> These cars for a whole, yeah. Mm. That's been sitting for 15 years. Mm. Oh, yeah. I did. I saw one little spark. I don't. It's it's not on the main just uh, distributor though. It's, it was right here. No leaks. Dude, it runs. It runs. It runs. It's a running 350, albeit a poor running 350 as of now. Mm. You guys, good work. For the first time in probably 15 years, this motor is running. You guys got it running. Hell yeah, dudes. Can, so does the gas cap, if it's off, does not cause a vacuum leak? <laughs> Sounds a lot healthier now. I cannot believe it runs. So I assume that in the next episode of this, we're gonna have it driving on the road. Right, Dan? We'll see. We're gonna get, right. we're gonna get driving, man. All right, so they're telling me to smell this toe strap. You don't have to smell it. Should I smell the toe strap? It's up to you. You smelled it. I, I had no choice. I took it off, it fell on my face, and I just got like a... I had no choice. All right. Let's oh, smell this thing. Go back here and that off. Oh. Oh, that smells like... Oh, that smells like raw dingus. That's like Bigfoot's dick. 